Sir, we're trying to have a civil... Full-on transphobic bullshit. Well, you're welcome to play the game next time, but right now we're... This isn't a game. This is just authorizing bullshit transphobia. Okay, so I know you feel that way. They are human beings. They are not what this piece of shit is presenting them as. Okay, so you're welcome. Body bits and stuff. Trans... Okay, so you're... you're, you're, Our people. Okay, so you're welcome to engage in civil conversation. By the way, in Victoria, Uh you are allowed to change... Your okay. gender identity on so your birth certificate. What you're uh, trying to do right now, what you're trying to do is destroy other people's freedom of speech and freedom of expression what and freedom of communication. That's what you're trying to do, mate. That's what you're How am I destroying oh, anybody's freedom, freedom of speech? Of speech? Let women speak. Yeah, I've seen that. Okay, good. You just Hitler saluted. Good. That's going to go out. That's going to be great. So I wrote a book, How to Have Impossible Conversations. We talk about how to have conversations about anything. Gender is different from sex. Five, four, three, two, one, move. Okay, explain. I, or you, you can stay there if you want. You, there's no compunction to move. Okay, explain to him why you strongly agree that gender is different from sex. Explain. Gender is how we condition people to behave. How we what, sorry? How we condition people to behave. Who's the we there? Society. Everyone. And what do you mean by condition? We bring them up in a manner that we give them particular toys, we dress them a particular way. Oh, so he can hear. I don't think he can hear you. We dress them a particular way. We teach them certain things that are specifically boy or girl. We, we teach them to generally be quite binary, You're either a boy or a girl as opposed to your male or female. All right. Do you agree with what she said? Yeah, yeah. Um, I would have... Tell him, tell him. I would say that gender is very fluid, and um, I generally would have thought that sex is something, um, you know, you're assigned at birth, that is what you are, but gender is something you feel, and I feel that now we have the opportunity to choose what gender we feel we are. Um, what, is, what does that mean, to choose what gender you feel you are? What do you mean? Well, you know, if I, was, if I felt inside that I wanted to be a man or a boy, I could decide now that I want to transition into that gender. You mean you tr- tr- transition into the gender? Yeah. Now I've lost you, so I'm not sure. What's the difference between sex and gender? So sex is what you are assigned at birth, I think. Yeah, biological. And so what do you gender, yeah. gender, if you feel that you are a different gender. Or, oh, so when you say transition, you don't mean physically undergo you surgery. To tra- you don't have to. Okay. If you don't feel that you want that, you don't have to. Did you agree with everything she said? Yeah. Okay, if you and you agreed with everything she said... So why aren't you on her line and why isn't she on your line? Why aren't you on that line? Uh, because I didn't step that far. Do you want to change lines? Yeah, I think so. Okay, go ahead. Do you want to change lines to where she was? No. What what t- t- what did you think of what they said? Is there is there anything that they said about sex or gender that? Well, what do you think sex and gender are? Or do you, do you know? I, I think I actually f- I find a lot of common ground with both of you. So if we say that sex is biological, uh, then it kind of refers to an objective reality or an objective truth that we can measure and, and verify. Common ground. Um, gender. I I heard you say that gender was it's kind of like the stero- stereotypes that we might place on those sexes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So like, if you're a biological male, we might have a certain expectation of that biological male or a biological female and that would be gender or part of gender for you okay okay cool so because I, I find common ground with that as well that we might have certain sex-based stereotypes a stereotype of what a biological male is supposed to or typically does and same for female um, and then I heard you you say something like it's how you feel and that's probably what I would consider gender identity so or I know that people use that that expression to refer to that, and that's where you might feel more like you 
They might say you feel more like a woman or feel more like a man. To me, that seems to be based on someone's sex-based stereotypes. So if you have an idea of what a biological male typically does, but you're a biological female and you kind of feel like you fit into that stereotype, then you might say my gender identity is a is a is a man in the sense that you feel like you fit into that gender stereotype so i think there's a lot of common ground the reason can i, can I pa pause it yes did you agree with his analysis of your position yes yes did i miss anything uh i also feel that biological sex is it's also not completely binary because you can have what we assign as the f say the full gamut of male hormones. Like intersex are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. So you can have the so intersex, but also you could have the full gamut of what is considered peak maleness. Yet some males won't have all of that. Some may have, you know, a little bit more of a female hormone going on and you know, so it's not even the biological part is not necessarily binary. There's intersex. Okay. okay. Yeah. I think okay, so is there a distinction for us to draw between um, between what exactly constitutes a biological male and a biological female? Because what I heard there is you can you can definitely have more feminine biological males and more masculine biological females. Um, but I'm curious as to what your definition of, of sex would be. So how do we determine someone's sex? How do we say this person's a female, this person's a male and what is intersex? Maybe we should find some clarity there. Um, I guess I would say body parts. Body parts? Yeah. Um, yeah, and that doesn't necessarily define how you identify, but they're there. So, so we could have a biological male who identifies or whose gender identity is woman? In your eyes? Okay, okay. Would you agree? Would you? Yeah, but I think um, practically speaking, we assign based on a full set of genitalia. Yeah, yeah. And so, if someone were to, this is where I'm, I'm kind of figuring things out too. If we have someone who was is a biological is born. I'll, I'll, because we're kind of defining biological male, I'll, I'll keep that aside. If we have someone who's born with XY chromosomes and they have a penis and then they, for some reason or another, have that penis removed or altered into what might try to emulate a, a vagina, does that change their sex in your eyes or is, are they still a biological male right. who... Hold on, I'm going to reset the line. Everybody go to neutral again. Okay. Come to neutral. Sex is assigned at birth. Five, four, three, two, one, move. Ex explain sex is assigned at birth. Explain. Um, when you are born, they see your, like if you have a penis or if you have a vagina and they assign you as a girl or a boy. Do you agree with that? Yes. Do you agree with that? Whether I agree or not, that is actually what happens. Yeah. That is how that is hospitals. How. All right, reset to the neutral, reset to the neutral, reset to the neutral. You can, ch one can change their sex. One can change their sex. Five, four, Three, two, one, move. Okay, you gotta speak loud. Tell him why you can change, one can change their sex. Um, they can go through surgeries to, uh, like, make them feel their gender, I guess, but that still. No, their changes, sex, their yeah, sex. That still changes their sex because it depends on. Why they change their sex depends on what gender they feel, I think. So their gender identity? Yeah. Okay, so I just wanted to clarify that. So that they're, if they are, in your eyes, born a particular sex, 
if they feel like their gender identity is not in alignment with that sex, they can then change their sex to suit their gender identity. Okay. Is that accurate? Yeah. Okay, so if a person undergoes what's called bottom surgery and top surgery and takes hormones, let's say uh, when they came out they had a penis and then they undergo surgery, does that make them a woman? Yeah. Okay. If they want to be a woman. Yeah, let's say, let's say, that, let's say that that's a girl. So someone at birth can change their sex from male, their sex, not their gender, can change their sex from male to female. Is that accurate? Yes. I, I would disagree. But, I, I, yeah, I'm curious as to where exactly we disagree. So I would have defined sex as you're either male or female or intersex based on your biology, in particular whether you have XY chromosomes or XX chromosomes, and then in certain instances where there might be a, an abnormality with, with your sex-based chromosomes, then that's where you might fall into the category of intersex. Uh, but that you can't change, even if, if, you, if we were to have someone who was born a biological male with XY chromosomes that were functioning and that were normal and they, they developed a penis, as, as they grew in the, in the uterus, uh, if they were, say, in adulthood, to remove their penis and have a surgery that creates something that imitates a natural vagina, I wouldn't say that that changes their sex. I would just say they're still a biological male who's attempting to appear more like a biological female because that makes them feel more comfortable um, and I, I would just add more comfortable because and I wonder whether this is where we find some common ground more comfortable because it aligns with their gender identity do you agree with what he said yeah I understand that but I think they are still so you changing. you you understand but don't agree not fully they are still changing okay hold on there for that so, so you you not fully agree. Do you agree enough to move to the slightly agree? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, what is the point of disagreement? They're still changing their sex. They still are taking away what they were assigned at birth and changing it to... They're taking away the penis yeah, in this case. changing it to a woman's anatomy for the most part. Obviously, not the uterus is not there. But for the most part, they are changing it to a woman's vagina. And therefore, I feel that they are a woman. Do you agree with what she said? Slightly. What is the point of disagreement? Tell him so he can hear too. I would think that changing, I think you can mostly change sex, but we're still refining it. I know there have been some studies, but and that's why I chose slightly agree because I don't know enough where hormones... So the biological bit, I think, is also... The anatomy is different from the hormones. So biology and the anatomy are different. So you could not do anything other than take your penis away and you Lord may it. not... You could no, do forget. nothing but take your penis away and still be considered biologically male but you can do you know many different sort you can have surgery and you can do a lot of hormone treatment that will change your hormones so we are sex in your eyes so that again the question was would, would in your eyes would that change your sex if you have changed your hormones enough that they can do blood tests or whatever to ascertain that your females now present your hormones now present as primarily female dominant, okay. I guess so, but I think it's still being refined. Okay. I think I, I think I understand. So just to make sure that I do, is it that uh, if you, so for, it sounds like, Claire, your, your definition was more so anatomical, where if you removed, if a biological male had a surgery, a, a bottom surgery that created something that approximated 
an imitation of a, a natural vagina, then they would qualify as biologically female in your eyes. Whereas for you, was it Melinda? Melinda, that they would also, that wouldn't quite qualify for you. They would also need to change their hormone levels. So say, for example, they would need to bring their testosterone down to what would be within the typical female range. Let me, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did he, did he accurately, uh, did he capture your positions accurately? Yes, except that I, whatever someone, if someone has hormone treatment and it's still, so they have the top and bottom, better? if they have top and bottom surgery and they have the hormone treatment, but for some reason their levels still don't meet the dominant female hormones, for me, they still almost qualify as a female because that's what they're trying to be. Okay, I think I understand. I think I understand. The reason why I'm still over here on Strongly Disagree, I think it comes down to our different definitions of sex. So that's where I would still define sex as what are your, uh, essentially chromosomally based, uh, taking into consideration that sometimes, you know, you can have XY chromosomes, but there's a particular part of the Y chromosome where you might have some kind of abnormality that results in you not developing a penis or not developing developing a, a typical penis and having typical male testosterone levels, etc. And that's where you might slot into that intersex part. But I would still I would still base sex on biological male XY chromosomes, biological female XX chromosomes. And, and you think that sur surgery alone, to Claire's point, surgery al alone won't change that. They're still male and female. Correct, yeah, I think, that, I think that having, say, for example, male to female sexual reassignment, I think that that's a misnomer. It's not sexually reassigning. You're still the same sex, but you're appearing more like the, the you're, you're attempting to appear more like the opposite sex. Do you agree with what he just said? No, I think it is sexual reassignment. Why do you think it's sexual reassignment? Because they're taking away the penis, which in our eyes is um, anatomically what makes you a man. What if somebody, you know, was in a car accident or something and you can imagine some weird accident uh, and he lost his penis would that make that and testicles would that make that person a woman i think it would make them intersex because they haven't gone wanting to get a vagina they just sadly lost their penis how do you respond to the chromosomal argument that he made i do agree um but then I also agree with how if you went, like, underwent um, hormonal, like, okay. yeah, treatment, then that would change. So for you, surgery is a big part of it. Yeah. What if uh, uh, someone, a, a man, biological man born with a penis had surgery, but it, it was just a terrible job and it just didn't look like a vagina at all? They'd still be a woman. They still try to undergo that surgery and and, still... and when you say be a woman what do you mean uh they i guess at that point i would say they identify as a woman but are they a woman i mean what do you mean is it it was really bad like it's... well is the like is the like let's say that you had a michelangelo of, of vaginal sculptures <laughs> and then let's say that you had you know somebody who was just terrible at it and so one person could make an exact replica of a vagina that was indistinguishable, and another person was like, whoa, what is that? To you, would that make a difference for whether or not that person could would change sex? I mean, if they really wanted to, they could get it redone. They could do it again. But let's say that the, it was a botched surgery. Uh, would that person be a woman? Yes. Is okay. it still <laughs> a hole? Okay. Okay, I, I think hey, I think I, I think I I I think I get you. So tell me if I understand, but that if you uh, it's it's what makes you a woman in your eyes, so let's say there's a biological male, 
regardless of whether they have a successful or unsuccessful surgery is secondary when it comes to being a woman, it's secondary to whether or not they identify as a woman. So if you're a biological male and you say, I, I feel authentically like a woman, in your eyes, would that make their, this is where I get confused, does that make their gender woman or does that make their sex female in your eyes? Yeah, it does, it's confusing because if it is a botched surgery, then I would bring gender identity into it because... What do you mean? They still want to be a woman. It's not their fault that the surgery didn't go well. So I would bring gender identity into it and say they feel like a woman, they want to be a woman. Anatomy doesn't necessarily matter. I think it doesn't necessarily matter either way. Somebody doesn't have to have a surgery to become a woman. If they feel like a woman, they should be allowed to express themselves as a woman. But that, that would be gender and not sex. Though. Yeah, I know. So would, would they get the F on their... I, 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 this is, I'm from the United States, maybe you don't do that in Australia, I don't know, but do you put M and F on the license plate, on your uh, driver's license? Do we? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know either. No, no, don't, that's okay, that's okay. So, does changing your gender identity also change your sex? No. Okay, so like, yeah. I'm just, it's good, it's good, because I'm, I'm trying to understand this. So, if, if you... If you do have a botched, you know, a biological male has a botched surgery, doesn't go to plan, feels authentically like a woman, in your eyes, that would... Yeah, this is still where I'm a little bit confused around the, the distinction between... Maybe we could say that that person's gender identity, how they feel is woman, but their sex is... Would you also say woman? If they want to be a woman? Are we still talking about the botched surgery? Or just my question to you would be what's their sex in that? What's their sex in that case? In the botched surgery case? In the botched surgery case? Yeah. yeah. In a botched surgery they want to they feel like a woman. They they want to appear more like the typical They feel like a woman and they want to appear more like the typical woman. Yeah. But the surgery hasn't gone to plan. Does that still, yeah, what, what is their sex in your eyes? It's up to them. <laughs> um, so you can, it's up to them. So people can, people can not only just, so, so if you feel, feel female, you're female. If you feel female, you're a woman. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, uh, yeah, this is, this is where I think it's important to retain the distinction between how someone feels and whether they might feel Melinda, back to what you were saying around uh, the stereotypes that we might have for like the, the typical biological male and the typical biological female, which we might call like a social construct or a stereotype. That's where I would say, you might say, uh, you might say that you're a biological male or, or I, would, I would describe someone, let's say there's a biological male who has XY chromosomes and has a penis, their sex would be male but they might fit more neatly or feel like they fit more neatly into a more feminine or female typical stereotype. And I don't know whether you might say their gender is feminine, but that's why I'd still keep that distinction of it's a biological male who's presenting with more or who feels like they align with more female typical expressions or interests. I have a, I have a question. Is there any way to test whether or not someone is a male or female? Yes. Is there any way to test whether someone is a male or female? Currently, I believe so because we arbitrarily assign these hormones, define you as male. Is there any way to test whether someone is a male or female? Yeah, I would agree with Melinda. And so if, if the test comes out as that they are male and they've had the surgery by Michelangelo of vaginas and they wear dresses, they present in their gender as female, but 
the test comes out as male, are they male or female? Female. But then the, if you say female, there wouldn't be a way to test whether they're male or female. I mean, we don't really have to test, just whatever they feel they want to be, in my opinion. So there's... So now, now I'm confused. Well, now I'm, I'm confused. So I'm just saying, well, why is there a reason for you to need to test? Okay. Why do you need to know what somebody is? Sweet. Okay, this is where it, it seems like I, I, I think it's important to retain that distinction between biological sex and what some people might say is gender identity or gender expression. But it sounds like, Claire, that, the, you know, why test? How is it relevant? Why, why is it important? That's where I would... I, and I wonder whether this is another question that we do, but I, I see implications for, uh, for example, treating gender dysphoria. What's the appropriate treatment? Is it biological or anatomical or physiological, surgical, etc., or is it psychological? Is it some kind of well, therapy? What, what, if, what if someone, a friend of mine's a physician, and she was telling me somebody came in with stomach pains and they, you know, she's looking, she's trying to figure out what the stomach pains are. And it turned out the person wrote M on their mail, uh, on their, you know, identity when they came in. And it turns out the person was pregnant. I think this is part of the, the, the trickiness of this is that words that we used to use to denote biological sex are now being used to denote what we might say gender identity or gender expression. So it's, it's, uh, and that, yeah, I think that's part of the root of confusion. So, for example, when you sign up for Facebook, a new Facebook account, it'll ask you for your gender, but it'll say male or female, which are typically terms that we've used to denote biological sex. So, and then when we look on our, say, our IDs, should it say our biological sex? And if so, what is that, right? So, if it is X, you know, XX or XY chromosomes, or is it your an anatomy or is it also your hormones i think all of that has implications say for how do we treat an instance of gender dysphoria i would also say for spaces where we've had traditionally female only safe spaces whether it be say separating male biological males and biological females in prisons uh whether we're separating athletics maybe athletics sports um rape beauty yeah. pageants yeah domestic shelters uh domestic abuse shelters of some sort so and when we start blurring the lines with respect to what does what what do I mean when I say male or female, and what do you mean when you say male or female, then it gets iffy about how do we those traditionally biological female only safe spaces or competitions if biology if female isn't XX chromosome, then do we let someone who has say had has XY chromosomes in my eyes would be a biological male, but who's removed their penis surgically or changed, altered their hormones. Are they then allowed into those spaces or allowed into those competitions and the implications of that? Do you buy his argument that uh, the test would matter? Um, is that, well, first of all, I should say, is that your argument? Is your argument that there is a reason that we want to test? I suppose so. Yes. I think it, I think there's an important distinction to be made between biological males XY chromosomes and biological females XX chromosomes and that has implications in sporting categories and safe spaces for and if you guys could just wait for talking to him because he needs to respond to what they say do you buy his argument that there's a reason for a test and there's a reason to know uh, sir could you just wait sir 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 he needs to listen to respond to the argument so if you'd wait that would be great uh, I think that there's... Sir, we're trying to have a civil... Full on transphobic bullshit. Well, you're welcome to play the game next time, but right now we're... This isn't a game. This is just authorizing bullshit transphobia. Okay, so like I know you feel that way. They are human beings. They are not what this piece of shit is presenting them as. Okay, so you're welcome. Body bits and stuff. Trans oh, okay, trans so you're, you're our people. Okay, so you're welcome to engage in civil conversation. In, way, in Victoria, uh -huh. you are allowed to change 
your okay. gender identity on so your birth certificate. So what uh, you're trying to do right now, what you're trying to do is destroy other people's freedom of speech and freedom of expression what and freedom of communication. What you're to do, mate. That's what you're How am I destroying oh, anybody's you freedom of speech? Yet, let women speak. Yeah, I've seen that. Okay, good. You just Hitler saluted. Good. That's going to go out. That's going to be great. Well, that's it. That's it. Do you have anything to add to that? Sorry, we were distracted. Apologies. I think it's a lot more nuanced than that. The, I think you kind of got to bring into a biology, anatomy, and the social construct. I'm not quite sure whether. I think it's possible, and I think it will definitely be possible in years to come that you can change your gender. What do you think about that? Um, sorry. Oh, your sex. I was just going to ask because you can change your gender anytime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. I don't think, okay, if we're talking about going to the doctors and you have something wrong, I think it's important to specify if you have changed your um, anatomy into a, that of a female and you were originally assigned man at birth, I think it's important to specify to a doctor. Otherwise, I feel no reason for them to specify what they were assigned at birth. Is it's there, is, let's see... Is there a difference between sex assigned, being assigned versus observed? Yes. What's the difference? Tell him. Um, sex is assigned at birth by a doctor when they see your anatomy. Heart. Yeah. Um, being observed, it's up to the person and that comes down to gender identity. Um, it's up to the person whether they want to identify as a female or a man. If you're talking about... Sorry, no, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go I, ahead. I was just curious, and correct me if I'm wrong, that we would find common ground that your gender identity or how you feel, that's one thing, but when it comes to your sex, in, uh, maybe this is where you would say your sex assigned at birth, it's important that the doctor know that so as to give you appropriate treatment. What... I'm curious as to, like, let's say we had a sporting competition. Can I pause you for a second? Yeah, sure. Can you identify out of your sex? Uh, as in you were assigned yes. male at birth, you changed to a female. Yes. Can you identify out of your sex? Yeah. Can you identify out of your sex? Yes. Can you identify out of your gender? Yes. You can identify. You can identify out of your gender. Yeah. Can you identify? Fucking take photos. Fucking dog. Can you identify out of your sex? No. Liam. What do you mean you're all being filmed? Hey, he's allowed to take photos. He's allowed to take photos. You it's can stand. It's a it's a public space. It's. No, just just stand. Yeah, guys, don't don't cause trouble. Um. Can you identify out of your sex? I would say no, because I would say that sex is, it's, a, it's an objective measurement, I suppose. Where you, you, you either have XX chromosomes, XY chromosomes, or you have some abnormality that might place you in that intersex category. So I would say no, you can't identify out of your sex. But until, until you're tested, you don't know that. So you can still have the anatomy of a male or female, but until you're tested, until, until they define what your hormones predominantly. And if you were tested, would you, would you accept the results of the test as, as the standard by which we would make a judgment? Yes, but it doesn't mean anything to me. So if you if you're tested. By, if there's a test that we can determine biological male from female, and you're tested as male then you you can't self identify or can you so still can you still self identify if the results of a test show that you're male and and you were born with a penis can you still self identify as a woman yes yeah can i can i can i jump in there so um is there a difference between the terms man and woman and male and female so if there's a test to distinguish between male, female, in terms of biology, but that 
someone would still be able to identify as man or woman irrespective of their underlying biology. Is that what? Yes. Okay, okay. Cool. That's what you mean? Yes. Yeah, but I also think you can, regardless of your biology and hormones, you... I don't know. That, this is where it gets very complicated for me, but I still think you can identify... Is it complicated, and, is it complicated enough for you to move to the neutral, or are you satisfied with where you are? Are you satisfied where you are? Are you satisfied with the line? Are you satisfied with the line you're on? Yeah, I'm still on strongly disagree. Okay. I, I believe. Yeah, I, I still think that sex and gender are different. That was the original. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, 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 okay. I also, just want to briefly ask Melina. So when you when you you said something like, I, I don't want to put words in your mouth. You said I think you said something like, you could have a test that can verify biological male or biological female, but what does it mean? Right, like what are the implications? And that's where I would point to again treating gender dysphoria and also traditionally female only safe spaces. So I mean even something like a change room, let's say we were in a public um, spa facility of some sort, should biological females have the option of a female only change room? Um, or I mean we might even go to a, a, perhaps an easier discussion would be let's say we have a sporting category, Does is it meaningful to have a test that delineates between biological male and biological female so we can have fair and safe sports between us? Did you say is it meaningful? Should we? Uh, oh, did you want it? She, she, I'm going to go to her, okay? I'm, yeah. I'm going to her. Fair and safe would be allowing them to be in a female category because they identify as a female and that is what they want, to be recognized as a female. Is it fair and safe for biological... Oh, hold on, hold on. I, I would just say, is it fair and safe for biological females? Yeah. I would feel completely safe. Do you think that there are physical advantages men have uh, biological males? Biological males. Are there, are there physical advantages biological males have over biological females? Sometimes. Sometimes women can work ten times harder than a man and be way better. They're just, yeah, we're just different. On average, are men stronger than women? Are we talking, like, strength? I don't know, bench press, whatever metric you want to use. I suppose, yeah. And if, wait a second, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, and if they are, would that confer an unfair advantage to biological men who went into women's categories? Would that confer an unfair advantage on them? Uh, no. They're a woman. They should be allowed to be in there. Okay. Okay. I think I understand your position. Um, I, I suppose I would... If that's the case, why separate sports at all so let's say let's just say let's say uh deadlift right so you just have to lift the heaviest weight you possibly can off the ground my my sense is that we've separated biological males and biological females so as to establish a fair competition because the males have benefited from testosterone uh not just are they benefiting from testosterone right in this moment, the male competitor, the biological male competitors, but they've also benefited from testosterone through their development and the kind of um, advantages that that might confer upon them in a, in a competition of who can lift the heaviest. And ex excuse me for asking this question, but I think it's important. Why does it matter if they're at an advantage over biological women? Well, if we... If we don't draw that distinction between biological males and biological females and the advantages that might come with respect to physical strength as a consequence of, say, testosterone throughout development and in the moment. My concern would be that we wouldn't have fair competition for biological females and that the competitions would be dominated by biological males. Who, who self-identify as women? who either self-identify as women and then compete in the women's category, or I suppose a question that I would have for you, Claire, is in your eyes then, if there isn't really a, an advantage that males have, why wouldn't we just collapse the categories and have a unisex competition? I don't know. I'm sure we can. So you think we should? It's up to the competitors. It's not up to me. I 
would love to see that. I would love to see men and women competing in a friendly environment, obviously, in a friendly and safe environment. Do you think that the men would come to dominate those sports? No, not necessarily. If they did come to dominate those sports, would it change your mind? No. So what would be the criterion that would change your mind? Change my mind about having a unisex? Yeah. Nothing, really. Okay. What was the original claim we started with? Gender and sex are different. Gender and sex are different. Okay. So he's on the strongly disagree. So I'm going to ask both of you, and then I'm going to ask you, what is the best argument you can give him to move him from strongly disagree to disagree? And then I'm going to ask you, what is the best argument you can give them not to move to where you are, but to move from the slightly agree to the neutral? Everybody got it? What is your best argument you can give him that will move him one line? Sex can be changed by way of surgery and hormone treatment. And do you think that will convince him? It hasn't yet, but it's So what, if it doesn't, is there another argument you think would, you could reason him to stepping on one line? No, that's the most basic argument I can give. All right, well, let me, let me, I'm going to change. I know I said that I was going to do that. And Melinda, hold, hold on. I know they said, I'm going to, I'm going to change my mind. Tell them what it would take you to move to disagree. And let's see if you can provide that. What would it take you to move to disagree? So let me just clarify. Gender and sex are different. And I've, oh, sorry, are the same. And I've said strongly disagree. Um, I think based on the conversation we've had and based on my understanding of how the two of you define or consider sex, I think what you've walked through and, and also your, your conceptions of gender, if I suppose now that I kind of understand your definitions and the way that you're using the, the terms, I would be willing to move to... to Disagree. Dis, I'd be willing to yeah move a little closer to where you're at because I have a better understanding of what you mean by gender and what you mean by sex. So, one, are you willing to move now? And two, what would they have to change about their definition for you to move? Are you willing to move now? Yeah, I'm willing to move now. If, if I were to adopt your definitions of sex and gender, then I, I would move probably a little closer to the disagree. Okay. A little further away from, from strongly agree, uh, strongly disagree. Okay, so now the question remains, for him to move, you have to convince him why your definition is best? Um, well, we can change hormonal structures in the body. Sorry, Louder. We can change hormo hormones in the body, which will, you know, sway toward our definition of either uh, male or female. And there's no reason, I was going to, my initial argument about sporting, say sporting categories were going to be, why can't we have three? But that again brings other issues because what do you do with the people who, there's going to be people who are strongly female, people who are definitely male, and then the people in between. But the people on the edges of the male and female coming toward the middle, okay. it's complicated. So can either of you give him what he's looking for in terms of definitions to move him to the disagree from the strongly disagree? Can, can you give him that? To move him from strongly disagree. Correct. And it's okay if you can't. No. Okay. What is your best argument that you can give? Oh, did you but want just, to? Yeah, just before I give that argument, I would say that if I, I'm not saying that I think your definitions are uh, the best ones. Um, so if if the if the claim is like, is their definition the best ones? I would disagree. Or strongly disagree but if the claim is do I understand your definitions and are we like say for example gender identity being how you feel gender expression being do you align or present in a way that's in alignment with the sex-based stereotypes of masculine and feminine and then sex if we're using sex in the conversation to mean your anatomy or sex to mean your hormonal profile and whether it's more typical male or female then all of that, that's what would make me come to disagree instead of strongly disagree. That's where 
I would be able to find some common ground and I think we'd be that's I think that's why we've been able to have a, a good conversation because I do understand those terms I just don't think that they are quality definitions in my eyes because I think that we need to keep that distinction between biological sex based on chromosomes um, or perhaps the gametes that you produce because that has implications for like I've said gender dysphoria treatment and also sporting categories okay no, not... uh, now, I told you I'm going to ask you, and now I'm going to ask you. Yes. <laughs> For you to move to disagree, what would you have to hear from them? And now I'm going to ask you if you can give him what he's looking for. What do you need? So for you to move one line. Gender and sex are different. What? Gender and sex are different. What do they have to tell you to move just to disagree? I think they've already actually told me what I need to hear to move to disagree. Okay. So I'm, I'm, as long as it's clear that I'm not saying I think your definitions of gender and sex are the best ones, because I think that defining them the way that you've defined them has implications with regard to those sporting categories and whatnot. But I do understand the definitions that you've provided, and if they are the, gen the, the definitions that we're running with, I would say that they are... I disagree that they're different, but perhaps I disagree less strongly. So I, I would be willing to come to the disagree. You, you, okay, you're willing to go to the disagree. Okay, so stand actually on the disagree. Uh, are you willing to go to the neutral? Okay, a few more things and then we'll wrap it up. Could I give, could you, I give them yeah. the argument? So if, or perhaps, could you ask them what they would need to hear from me to move you? That's what I was gonna do. Oh, okay, sorry. A few more things, okay. What would you need to hear from him to move you to neutral? I would need to hear that hormonal levels cannot be changed to fit into our current standards or definitions of distinctly male or distinctly female. Did you hear that? Yeah, but I'm not sure I, I quite understand. Can you Could you repeat? So rather than just anatomical and the XY, I'd need to know that our hormone levels could not actually be changed to be more predominantly female or male. Right, because... And Distinctly. That's, and that's because you're operating off the definition of sex being are your, based on your hormonal profile. Okay, yeah. So it's a definitions thing. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a difference in definitions, yeah. Uh, what do you have to say to move him... One line. Move him one line. What do you have? What do you got? Move him one line. Yeah, to slightly agree. I don't know. Okay, let me, a few a few final things, and we'll wrap it up. Anything else you want to tell him before we wrap it up? Um, I think I honestly don't believe that sex and gender are completely separated at all, ever. Because no matter what sex you were assigned at birth, you can identify as a different gender and you should be able to live your life as that gender. And you agree with that. You agree that you can identify as any gender you want. You can live. Your, your issue, is my understanding, is sex. Well, I suppose I would say it depends what you mean by gender depends what you mean. and what you mean by sex. If sex is your biological XX or XY chromosomes and if gender is gender identity or how you feel um yeah i suppose so it's a, it's a, it's a definitional, definitional problem yeah okay. I, I mean, i'm an 85 year old grandpa yeah grandpa ho, ho, great can you hold on grandpa grandpa hold on yeah go ahead go ahead uh i'd be interested to see in 20 years time where we are along the what do you predict i think that with science that maybe in anywhere between 20 and 50 years time, we will be able to change. Okay, final question. What line do you think I'd be on? Uh, neutral. What line do you think I'd be on? Strongly disagree. What line do you think I'd be on? I think disagree. What do you guys, what line do you think I'd be on? Disagree. Disagree. Strong, strong, strong. All right, thank you for playing. Was that fun? Yeah. Do you, did you, not do you agree with him, but do you understand his position? Not agree, but do you understand? I do. Yeah. Do you understand more now than when we started playing? No. Do you understand their position? 
Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I think I understand it. Do you understand more now than when we started? I think so. All right, yeah. cool. Thanks, everybody. Awesome. Hey, thanks. For, that was fun. Lovely meeting you guys.